John here from All Miniatures Great and Small and today's episode of What's on the Table we're going to take a look at some of my Team Yankee Soviets. I've got an upcoming game scheduled so I need to knock out uh, the rest of a T-80 um, shock battalion so I sat down and uh, opened up my second Team Yankee starter set and uh, pulled out some of the stuff I had in storage from uh, a while ago um, that I needed to touch up so that I could do it. So I'm pretty much done. I've only got the uh, the crew figures to, to do la um, last, but everyone else is kind of weathered. Um, I started with the uh, T-80s just because I think they look awesome. Um, they are a very cool looking tank. Probably one of the coolest looking tanks in the game. Um, I applied the decals, I put the star on the searchlight cover, um, I think the decals just give it, since it's such kind of a boring paint scheme, the decals just give it an extra little room for that detail that makes it look finished. I thought about doing the two-tone uh, color scheme, but since I'm, I still have plenty of Americans to paint and I still have, I have West Germans coming in, that, um, uh, I didn't want to tackle another army with a, a different tone camo. So uh, this particular paint scheme is very easy to do. Uh, yeah, it's plain, but um, you know it kind of catches, uh, captures what the the Soviet army is. So um, I finished off eight of these. I had four already done um, for a previous battle report. You might have saw the starter battle report I did with Jake. Uh, but they weren't completed, so now these guys are completed with appropriate amount of paint, and um, they have some, I don't know if you can see some of the weathering. The weathering came out a little bit subtler than I had hoped, um, but um, still, I think, I think it turned out uh, pretty good. So I've got a bunch of those. Um, I also built the um, MP3s. All of those guys in the box. Um, again, you can see some of that weathering with the. Uh, I use the weathering powders on that, but you know, kind of a cool looking. I mean, it's it's basically a tracked box, but for what it is, I think it's pretty cool. So my list is going to have a couple of those. Um, I also picked up a box of these uh, storms, and um, again, you know, not much to this tank. It's just kind of a boring rectangle box, but you know, it's got enough doodads on it that you can pick up with highlights, put some decals on it, and I think it looks pretty, pretty decent. The other part of this uh, project was, like I, I mentioned earlier, pulling some stuff out of storage and and kind of um, uh, prettying them up a little bit. Uh, several years ago there was a Team Yankee uh, Shifting Sands which was our local um, Flames of War tournament. We did Team Yankee one year and um, I was taking my Americans. Jake wanted to play but uh, didn't have anything so I had some Soviets that I got from starters so I just knocked those out real quick like I think in two or three days so they were very very ugly and plain, but, um, they, um, you know, they got the job done. So I built, uh, some of those and, uh, I pulled them out of storage and basically went through and gave them a, so they were very ugly. So I gave them, uh, highlights with an ink wash. Uh, I gave them weathering. I put on some decals. I put on the decals first, then weathering. Um, so you can kind of see. And I'm not sure what recipe I used to build these. You can see that they're slightly different from that. And this is kind of a darker or a more saturated green versus this one. But um, I've seen plenty of pictures of Soviet uh, armor parks. Uh, and the Soviets don't even... Yeah, this one's been out in the field more and the sun's bleached the green. It's not really it's not really wrong. I don't think there's any accurate Soviet color that you couldn't get away with. Um, so I built those. Um, you know, I've got some BMP2s. Uh, these uh, Carnation Artillery. Um, 
touched up four of the uh, Shilka, which is the same body as the Storm. But uh, cool looking tanks, and then um, no army would be complete without one of these. Oh, these are the Shilkas, and this is a gopher. Yeah, sorry. Shilka Gopher. So those guys jumping down in the comments to make a comment, I, I corrected myself. So I've got a, a ton of these, basically a hundred point army plus a couple of extras. I think my my shock list only has seven of these, but I painted up eight because that's what was in the two starter sets. Um, but otherwise I'm looking forward to uh, playing some more Team Yankee and getting that on the channel. Um, like I said, the only other thing I have to do is finish these uh, crew figures. I basically just am using um, contrast for them. I have to pick out things like binoculars and equipment. Uh, and uh, he's going to get a different color hat. Uh, but basically they'll, they'll just pop into the hatches. The only other thing I've worked on um, is more of these guys. Basically I just prime a couple of frames and when I'm between things or between projects, I just uh, start working on them um, because this is kind of more of a long-term project. If I just concentrated on this, I think I would get burned out by painting a bazillion of these frames. So there you go, guys. That's a look at what's on the table this week. Lots of Soviet goodness for Team Yankee. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do leave a comment down below. A like and subscribe would be most appreciated. Click that bell to receive a notification when we release new content. You can check us out on Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. As always, thanks for watching and keep on wargaming.